So what are you making today, babe? We are obviously going to make a slow cooker meal. I know. I've been doing those lately. Um, but we have been experimenting with a coconut curry chicken. And it's so good. So we've gotten it down to where we like the ingredients. Um, before, I wasn't using coconut milk. I was just doing curry chicken. And then I added the coconut milk and it, that was it. That was what we needed. So first I'm gonna cut up my um, chicken breast. This is about two pounds. And this is a really big one actually. I'm almost thinking it's a turkey breast. But we're gonna do it in well, like little chunks. So I'm gonna get this part off, but I'm not gonna toss that in there. I'll put it right there. Um, let's see, how do I want to do this? Because this is really big. Yeah, I'm just gonna start cutting like that. Since it's so thick, I'm gonna cut them into like this. Yeah, that's about a good, uh, a good um, chunk. This is a lot of meat. This is uh, it's about two pounds. Actually, it's probably a little, slightly a little bit more than two pounds. Um, but that's what this recipe calls for anyways. Two pounds of chicken breast. Um, some people go ahead and cook up the chicken before they put it in the crock pot, but I've done it enough times to know that we like it to kind of simmer into all the juices and it just soaks up the flavor even more when it's raw like this. Alrighty. Excuse the airport, We're, we live right next to one right now. <laughs> and I'm going to put this in here. All right, so got the chopped up chicken in there. I'm gonna add a whole 28 ounce can. I'm gonna cut myself of diced tomatoes with the juice. Cause I'm not adding any more liquids to this other than the coconut milk. So, and then we're gonna add the coconut milk. Look how creamy that is. It makes the meal, that coconut milk. And then, let's see, I put in a teaspoon of Better Than Bouillon. Um, I only use Better Than Bouillon. If you're using a stock or something, I would definitely half the can of tomatoes that you use. Or also just be too watery. I put two teaspoons of that. I said one, I meant two. Sorry. I'm just gonna get it off my spoon here. I don't like to waste. Just that right there. The boat's rocking a little bit. Mm-hmm. Not as bad as earlier, though. No, no. Okay, and now we're gonna do, of course, minced garlic. So I'm gonna do three tablespoons, which is three cloves, if you're gonna actually chop it up yourself. And then, magic curry powder now this takes quite a bit of curry it takes two tablespoons um, I've tried it with less it really needs the two tablespoons so I'm gonna use a teaspoon because it's kind of hard to get a tablespoon in there so I have to do three well six tablespoons I mean sorry teaspoons so that's three Four, five, and six. You 
can already smell it. Mm-hmm. If you've never cooked with curry before, I have a lot more recipes out there with curry in them. Mm. Okay. And then we're going to do one teaspoon of salt. It's easier when I have the other one. And one teaspoon of black pepper. That should do it. And that's it. That's all the ingredients. Uh, now we're going to stir it up. And uh, so let me get something to stir it with. I didn't have to go that far, did I? <laughs> Get all these ingredients, these yummy ingredients, really kind of mixed in there. Mmm, that looks really good. Well, it's raw chicken right now, so. I know. <laughs> it definitely smells good, though. So you're saying I can't taste test it right now? <laughs> no. That would be bad. Okay, and we put it on high already. I just wanted to pre preheat it. And um, we put this on and four to five hours. We're gonna check it after four hours though. Um, it might need the extra hour, so we'll be back. Okay, so it's been five hours. We actually cooked it for five hours because I felt like it needed it. And the meat is tender. It's got all the yummies in it. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's got a graviness to it. Oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Smells good too, if you guys could smell it. Yeah. Smell a vision. We would really love it. You can, you can serve this like a stew. We like it over rice or pasta. We're gonna do rice tonight. We're gonna we're gonna put put it over uh, rice, which is really yummy. This is our coconut curry slow cooker chicken. You guys need to try it out. It's really good. We've been <laughs> we've been experimenting on this for a while, and my husband's like really wanting. He's been smelling it all day, so he's like, oh, it smells so good. So uh, yeah, like subscribe. Um, Follow us on even our social medias. Uh, we got we got Facebook, Chris says what, and we have Instagram, Dining with Danielle, and Chris says what on Instagram. Follow those. Um, also go to our website, which mm -hmm. is where I write out all the recipe instructions, all the recipes, um, every little step that you have to do with it. And you and, can browse all your recipes there. Right. I have a lot of them. Um, been doing this for <laughs> five years. So, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of recipes you can go. I have a lot of slow cooker recipes. Um, this is just our newest one. And, uh, yeah, that's um, diningwithdanielle.com or chrisdoeswhat.com. And you can find all our recipes. So, uh, yeah. Um, and if you cook it comment yeah if you like it or cook it or whatever comment you know let Give me know what you did feedback um we like feedback and you know because you can do a lot of, with this this is just a base you can put it over things you can dip bread in it i mean it, there's just <laughs> so much stuff you can do with this base right here <laughs> it's just too yummy to not explore all your options uh yeah and we'll see you soon Bye. <laughs>